In this video, I'll be going through the Criterion C Strand 3 section of my design ePortfolio report that managed to score me a 7 out of 7. So taking a look at the rubrics, it says that the student follows the plan to create the solution, which functions as intended and is presented appropriately. So to appropriately present the solution and how you follow the plan, you present a range of clear final product images, include a set of work in progress images. So when they say uh, present a range of clear final product images, if it's a physical product, you'll want to focus on different angles to capture different, um, different parts of your product if it makes that big of a difference. But even if, it, even if it looks the same for however many angles you include, you should still try to include as many angles as possible when it's a physical product. If it's a digital product, there's not much option. You can only include the product itself through images. So let's take a look at my report. So what you do here is quite similar to what you do in the last strand in Criterion B. In the final strand in Criterion B, you include the final sketch of your product after getting um, all your feedback from your uh, surveys. And then you present the uh, different angles of your final sketch. And then you uh, do annotations uh, in terms of the access FM or whatever model you're using to try to bring out the features of the product and to show the different um, parts of your product. Here, you do the exact same thing, except with the final product instead. If you were to look at my descriptions, you can sort of see that it's very similar to the one from my final sketch because majority of the features of my product remain the same, except for some things which I've changed. But other than that, it's quite an easy strand to fulfill because a lot of these things are the same. So you can copy and paste quite a bit, except some parts in which you change, you change those. Otherwise, you just include different angles of the photos and you include annotations to access FM once again. And depending on your product, you may know which annotations are important, which are not. Due to the way I describe my product, the way I describe the way I make my product, for instance, for example, this 3D origami, I have to label neck, left wing, right wing, because sometimes it may, it may seem obvious, but it's also a bit hard to see. And I, I use these terms quite often when talking about how I made my product, which makes it important to also describe it. And again, make sure the words are big enough to see through images, try to bold it if possible. You can include many more images as long as it's large enough for the examiner to see. And just the same thing for all components of my product, which I have quite a few. So this is my brochure. It's a digital product. So I only include the product, the product itself, as there's nothing much more that I can include. And again, a link, there's no guarantee the examiner will open the link. Just because I'm not sure whether the examiner can actually read the brochure. I tried to make it as big as possible for the size, I, the spacing I had. But just in case the examiner would look at it, I included the link, which you guys can do too, if you have a link to the product. But you shouldn't be relying on the link. If, for instance, you don't have space to include it here, you can include a bigger image in the appendix as well. And here's just a general description with the rest of the Axis FM, which is consistent for all. So there's no need to specifically annotate, just the materials, the function of the product, and how it's used, the sizing, my target audience, and the cost of production and the price. So that would be it for this strand. If you were to see here, the include a set of work in progress images are what I sort of included back here um, in the technical skills. In, uh, in the previous video, because I felt like those work in progress images suited the, the, the question, the requirement for that strand better. So I sort of included it there, but if you would like to, you can also include prog work in progress images in this strand as well. It makes you feel like it's safer, but otherwise you can still score a seven in this strand with what I did. Thank you for watching.